Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Age of Wonders Shadow Magic. My name is Marlo from Explorminate, and we're going to make a run at uh, this wonderful game. This is the prequel, if you will, to Age of Wonders 3, which is a game that we've talked about a lot on our website and on our Steam group forums. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is the game that came immediately before that. It's um, it was technically a standalone expansion pack for Age of Wonders 2, Wizard's Throne. Um, but uh, I think most people, well, I won't say that. A lot of people think this is uh, the superior game of those two. Um, it uh, It's one of my favorites in the series. Now, let me tell you a couple of things that are going on here. Number one... If you look down at the bottom of the screen, I am using U-Patch 1.4. Now, I'm playing the GOG version of the game. Uh, U-Patch 1.4 is an unofficial patch. Uh, I guess it's really more of a mod, but it's primarily focused on bug fixing and balancing. Um, uh, very light on the balancing. Mostly bug fixing kind of things. Uh, so, I'm technically playing a modded version of the game, but... Um, you know, in many ways, it's it's similar to what Triumph Studios might well have done had they continued patching the game past the point where they did. But at any rate, uh, it it uh, it it fixes some bugs that drive me crazy. Um, so we're going to use it. The other thing that I should tell you is that as I'm playing this game in windowed mode uh, for recording purposes, it just works better uh, on my setup if I do it that way for whatever reason. But uh, the point of that is is that this window is 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 fairly small compared to my screen so there may be times when I you know might misread a little bit of text or um, you know can't quite click on something that I'd like to click on and that's uh, not a problem with the interface of the game it's because I'm playing in windowed mode and things are a little smaller than they usually would be so just kind of bear with me on that and uh, that'd be really cool of you anyway we're gonna play a scenario we're going to do a single player scenario. You can play this game by email, which is pretty cool. Um, we had a little bit of a slowdown there. Um, okay, we're going to we're going to generate a random scenario. We're going to have we'll have 5 players. Uh, let's go to advanced settings. Now, we're going to yeah, we're going to have a medium map, average, you know, stuff. Uh, we're going to just have the one layer. You can do the underground and the Shadowland. I hate the Shadowland, by the way. Uh, and we're also going to turn off, as far as races go, Sirons and Shadow Demons, who are both related to the Shadowland in story, the story mode and are um, hopelessly unbalanced in this game. I, I don't think a game has to be balanced in order to be fun. In fact, I think some games are really fun because they're unbalanced, but there's a line there and yeah so yeah so that's gonna be our basic uh, setup um, otherwise we'll just kinda take what we get uh, we're going to put the uh, gosh it's been a while since I've played this game uh, I think Lord is is doable and we'll put up a decent fight uh, we're going to do classic you can do classic or simultaneous turns just like in Age of Wonders 3 if you're familiar with that game uh, we are going to customize our wizard that allows us to choose some things and uh, then we're gonna like who we are otherwise it would just choose randomly for us this, if you yeah so that's what you have to do if you're setting up if you're not familiar with this game if you're setting up a new game and you would like to choose which race you're going to be you need to click on customize wizard Otherwise, you just get a random uh, race and sovereign, which isn't the worst thing that can happen, but it's not what I'd like to do here. Now, I am... Yeah. Um, gosh, there's a lot of good ones. Um, that can be fun. But uh, I'm probably most comfortable with... Hey, Morgan Freeman. Um, I'm probably most comfortable with the dwarves out of, it, out of all of them, out of all the races. Um, they're the ones I probably know the best, so I think we'll go with them. 
And we're going to generate our map. And here we go. And we're purple. For, or blue, or purple, or whatever uh, color this is. Um, probably should have paid more attention to that. Anyway, it's day one, and it's our turn. Click to begin. So, here's our city. Uh, we just descended into our city, hopefully with a parachute. Uh, we're going to... What we're going to do is deselect everybody, maybe. There we go. We're going to deselect everybody except for our sovereign and put him on guard so he doesn't move. Uh, and then we're going to move everybody else. Hey, who are you? Independent party. Um... Yeah, just a single halberd here. Um, okay. We're going to... Um, we're going to move our army, uh, which consists of an axeman, two axemen, a berserker, a crossbowman, a boar rider, an engineer, and our hero, Grogmir. Uh, can we see a little information about Grogmir? Yes, we can. He's a dwarf rogue. He's of good alignment. He has one experience point. Um... And the following stats, so on and so forth. He can sabotage, uh, strike, he has cave crawling and mountaineering. All the dwarf units will have mountaineering, which means they can move through the mountains. Uh, poison protection, night vision, blah, 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 blah. Uh, other things that, if they become relevant, we'll talk about more. Uh, we're going to move our, our army out there and pick up some mana crystals just lying on the ground there waiting for us. No, nope, we don't want to do that. Okay, it's uh, yeah, so now we need to build something, um, well we don't have to build anything, but we should, uh, I, I like to start with, uh, the siege workshop, uh, that's mainly because you get a, um, it lets you build catapults, but honestly I don't care about catapults right now, but what I do care about is the fact that it increases our production overall, so we're going to build uh, the yeah we're gonna build the siege workshop in Rockdale uh, and you can queue up production here so we're not gonna bother with that at the moment but you can do that we could build another unit and I think we will uh, it all goes to the same queue though uh, are there any sp uh, Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, and, okay, yeah, so we're on the eastern edge of the map, uh, about halfway, you know, north and south-wise. Um, so that's that's good to know. Uh, we're going to, uh, let's see, let's see if we have any spells. Oh, we can summon a dire boar. There's some randomness to this. Uh, oh, we already have stoning. That's a good spell uh, for offensive purposes, especially in the early game. All right, so we need to research something. Um, freedom, enchant weapon, enchanted roads. That's of some value, but uh, stone skin is probably a good one to start with. So that's what we'll do. And um, yeah, you can't click and drag around the map, unfortunately. Um, you at least. If you can, I haven't been able to do it uh, in my test runs of this game. Uh, I'm just using the arrow keys. I don't remember if I was ever able to do it. Uh, but at any rate, um, yeah, so that's going to be our turn, and our next turn will come up pretty fast. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. We want to come down here and get this gold. And let's see what we have here. Two magic servants. Uh, let's see, they have 24 hit points. Um, we can probably take them on. And what are they sitting on top of here? Uh, that is a magic catalyst. It gives us a bonus of 150 research points or 50 casting points. Well... Uh, we can't get there in one turn anyway. Let's come down here and just kind of explore a little bit. And we're going to hit in turn because we're building things and we're researching things. 
All right, our siege workshop is finished. So, yeah, we're going to build our Axeman, and then we're going to build uh, a war hall, probably. Yep. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Um, there's some mines up here that would be good to have. But they appear to be closely guarded. So, we're going to kind of scoot up this way towards these dwarves here. Which I think is what we'd... I think we'd like to have this. Now, we have a berserker, and they're kind of dangerous, and an axe man. And it's a farm, which we, we would... We would really like to have that, especially early in the game. Um, so let's get into a little combat. Uh, let's do the manual battle. I tend to do manual battles unless I just vastly outnumber the other side. This is because I don't trust the computer in auto combat, and neither should you. So. Uh, combat works very similarly to Age of Wonders 3 if you've played that game or uh, watched any videos of it. Um, one big difference is that ranged weapons can miss. So, uh, un you know, in Age of Wonders 3, ranged weapons don't miss, they just may not do very much damage depending on the circumstances. But they always will hit something. You, you know, you might do one point of damage, you might do a ton of damage, just whatever. But you're gonna hit but in this um, in this game they can miss and range has a lot to do with it terrain has something to do with it etc etc but we're going to take some shit we're gonna take a shot with this crossbowman at the uh, berserker because he is very dangerous and we hit him which is excellent now we're gonna take our engineer and we're gonna fire his pistol also at the berserker who is Oh, and we missed, you see. Yeah, so... And he's the one I'm I'm most afraid of. Now, do you have any ranged abilities? Sabotage. Attempts to destroy an enemy machine and damages walls and gates. So... You don't have any ranged abilities. So... Um... Alright, our Axeman has an attack of six and a damage of five the berserker the berserker I don't want to do that okay the berserker uh, has an attack of eight and a damage of six so that's going to hurt a lot but our um, boar rider can outdo him so let's see if we can take him down Okay, yeah, and the uh, the Berserker, because they're dual wielding, they get two attacks, which makes is what makes them so dangerous. Um, we're going to send our Berserker after their Axeman, and everybody missed. So, combat can be annoying that way, and they're going to gang up on the Boar Rider, which I don't blame them for doing that. And we took out their Berserker, which is excellent. Now... We do need to kind of clear... Oh, well, yeah, we took an attack of opportunity there, but I'm not too worried about that. Because it's just an axe man. We'll be careful about that in later battles, because... Um, we'll be facing units that can actually, you know, really hurt us. And we took him out with the crossbow. And so, we get the farm! And, ooh, we see somebody's border here. Let's step across. Oh, we can't. We're out of movement points. Okay. So, okay. We have finished the Axe Man. And, uh, we're still building the training hall. Oh, we have insufficient gold. That's... That is unfortunate. Um... Well, we'll have enough gold next turn. Okay. That's fine. Uh, okay, we've entered the domain of Canaan. So, let's see. Diplomatic relations. Oh, 
Well, we haven't really met them yet because we haven't had any contact with them, so we can't can't quite see who they are. But um, we did manage to take that farm, which is excellent. Now, how's our research doing? Oops. Uh, yeah, research. Four turns left. And are we actually... No, don't really want to do that. Um, we're going to leave our axemen in the city for right now, because we're going to be trying to build up kind of a secondary army. Um, our defenders will mostly be ranged units for reasons that I think you'll see when we conduct our first siege, or our first siege defense. But I do tend to like... Um, You know, I do tend to like ranged units for defending. I think that's kind of the smart, smart move to make. You know what I don't remember is whether or not we, uh, let's see, smooth panning would be good. Um, do you know, I don't recall whether or not we enabled, uh, the ability to found new cities or not. <laughs> hmm, I guess we'll find that one out the hard way. Oh, we don't want to exit the game. Uh, we just want to play the game. Let's, oh, yeah, go away. Okay. Um, any enchantments, powers? Yeah. Um, that brings us always back to the city. So, I think we can end our turn. Let's see what's going on in the thing. Okay, good. We built our uh, war hall. Now, huh, we have next to no money. Uh, what, what you can always do, we can build a pioneer, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we... Let's, we're going to pr uh, produce merchandise uh, for a turn or two. To just to build up some funds. Um, money's a little rough going in the early game. Um, unless you get fantastically lucky with the random map generator. But uh, that doesn't happen very often. Okay. Now what do we have here? Okay. A single engineer. Okay. We're going to go squat in his ice cream. Um, select our army. And move him up. We're going to do the manual battle. I know that sounds silly, but we do have some... We do have some injured units, and I want to try to protect them as much as I can. Now, we're going to take our crossbowman, and we're going to move him up here. Uh, is there any way you can get a shot? Absolutely not. Okay, so let's have you continue to move. Now, let's move our engineer up further as well, and we'll take our hero, and we want our hero to get a kill, if possible, um, because that's how you get experience in this game. I think Triumph actually Studios, I think Triumph Studios actually greatly improved that system, uh, the the XP system in Age of Wonders 3 uh, because the only way you get XP oh yeah we're trying to shoot through a mountain that doesn't work very well so we won't do that um, yeah the only way you really get XP now can we fire the crossbow no nope, unit has already moved and can we fire the pistol at you we can shoot through the thing uh, let's have you move here. Now can you fire the pistol? Probably not, because you've moved. Yes. Okay. Wait, we don't want you to do that. We want you... We might as well come up here and take a swing at him. But yeah, so in this game, the only way your, your military units get experience is not by fighting or doing damage, but by actually landing killing blows. So... One of the strategies here is to try and arrange things so that your uh, leaders get the killing blows. Oh, they took out our engineer. That was rude. And we can't fire the crossbow, can we? Of course not. And 
And, uh, yeah, that's going to start to hurt soon. Uh, yeah, we're not going to play around with those guys. Hey, fire your crossbow at this guy. Try not to kill him. Okay. And we're going to fire the crossbow again. And we evidently missed. Okay. We're going to end our turn. If our hero gets killed by this guy, I'm really not going to be happy about that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we won't be doing any conquest for a while. But we got the uh, the mine here, so uh, that's that's the important thing. But we do need to rest up with these guys now. Yeah, we don't want to raise that. Uh, let's go back to our town and. We're going to build a crossbowman, and then we're going to build mm, the library would be good, but it's expensive. Let's queue it up and we can always cancel it if we need to. Yeah, we're going to we're going to keep going there. Okay, so now if we pop back over here, uh, we see that. Well, we just we haven't healed much yet, um, so we're just not going to uh, not going to tempt fate too much. Um, how's our research? Research? No, research. One turn left. Okay. So just like any other game, uh, these early turns will pass fairly quickly. Can we see what you are? Ooh. You are a Minotaur that has a ton of hit points. So, uh, yes, we have uh, we've researched our spell and we need to research another spell. Spell magic is really not a bad one. Um, Five hundred mana. Well, okay. Well, that would take us one hundred and forty-three turns. So we're not going to do that. Dispel magic is fine. We got a. Yeah, that's fine. Let's take a look. At, okay, did we have enough money? Evidently, we did. Okay. Um, all right, well, we'll leave that alone for now. Yeah, we'll leave that alone for now. Um, okay, well, we're just going to keep exploring our territory. And, uh, yeah, our hero is... slowly but surely... Uh, healing himself. For zero gold pieces, this one offers to join you. We accept. You, go fetch things. And go fetch things over here. Okay. That was handy. Um, oh, yeah, don't do that. You, come this way. Okay. So, uh-oh. All right, we've had some movement on our borders. Let's see what we're looking at here. We've got an elephant rider, a barbarian, barbarian, and a hellhound. Uh, these would likely be nomads. And then up here, what have we got? Eklo. Hmm. 
How's our hero doing? Not great, but let's go down. Uh, yeah, we're still working on the library. One turn. And uh, then we're going to build another crossbowman for defensive purposes. And uh, we have 203 mana, so that's good. Um, but there's not a lot else we can do right now. Who hasn't moved? Oh. We'll find those mana crystals. Guards. More guards. Can you move any far anywhere? Yeah, okay. So, we can take some of these places out. But, uh... Okay, we've constructed the library. Um, let's go to our diplomacy screen. I don't know that we're we're ready, quite ready for war. Um, see if we can negotiate with him about anything. Shall we have peace? Yeah. Well, not accept this offer. Well, perhaps we shall not have peace. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's nomads, like we thought. Uh, I don't. I used to know who all the sovereigns were, just by their pictures and what faction they were part of, and all that kind of stuff. And unfortunately, I cannot claim uh, that knowledge anymore. I just cannot remember all that stuff. Um. These barbarians are nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty units. Uh, can we fit another? We can. You know what? You two guys. I don't think... Yeah. We're gonna load up our army. Uh, I know that leaves the city vulnerable, but... Uh, we're going to fix that. Who hasn't moved? Oh. I keep forgetting about this guy, honestly. Um, yeah, we're just going to have him continue to explore, though. Okay, all parties have moved. Let's focus the screen back. Oops. Too much. Yeah, let's focus the screen back down here and end our turn. Hey, now... That's not cool. That is not cool. Well. Yeah, he's declared war on us. So, that's not surprising. We're going to go take our windmill back. And then... Okay, well, we're not going to do that because he, uh... We're out of movement points, so... Uh, upon that happy realization, let's wander up here and see what we can find. This might be a city up here. It's hard to tell. It could also be... It probably is a city. Um, I don't know if, if it belongs to yellow or if it is... Um, you know, I don't know. Um, an independent city? Um, it's hard to say. Is he going to attack us? No, he's not. Okay, that is... That tells us a little something right there. I'd love to attack, but I can't. Do any of these... Oh, wait. You still have movement points, don't you? Uh, 
Uh, let's... No. Let's cancel that battle. I'd rather attack with our complete force. Uh, and that wouldn't have us do that. Let's check out our research. Um, uh, Magic Fist is good. Earth's Awareness is good too, but we don't... We're a long way from that. Um... Yeah, let's go Earth's Awareness. And Crossbowman. Uh, let's look at our building queue here. Wizard's Tower is not a bad one. Um... Yeah, let's do that. And then... Yeah, we need to do the temple complexes too, though, honestly. Uh, gosh, there's... Of course, you just... You want to build almost everything in the early game. Um, naturally. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Alright, we're gonna... Oh, who did we forget? Hey! The guy we always forget. How about that? Um, who are you? Oh, well. I didn't manage to reveal that. Um, can we click on you? Cavalry... Halberdier. That is an independent city. We need to stomp on... Okay. That guy is really going to become a problem. Yep. Okay, we do have some defenders there. So, uh, we can mount some level of defense. Oh, look. Grogmir has reached level 2. Let's give him defense out of those choices. And uh, with that, we're going to call the video here. So until next time, I hope you're doing well and continue to do well. And uh, see you in the next video.